answer the walkie. Yeah, go ahead, Philippa. It's not Philippa, it's Philippa. You need to move this picture car on set ASAP. Yeah, well, my pants are down, and I'm on the toilet, and it's not too frickin' easy to do that from here. Shit! Transport, did you copy? Yeah, copy that, Philippa. Yeah, I covered that, Michael. I got it covered, Philippa. Yeah, right. So much for my peaceful morning ritual. Daryl? Daryl? Daryl! What the hell are you doing? I fell asleep. I'm sorry. So sorry. You should be on sorry, set man. in picture vehicles. Yes. I know. I'm the so leap is reaming us out. I, I would have Go heard. to set. I would have heard. I'm on four. I, would, I must have tripped it up, buddy. I'm so sorry, man. I was on four. I must have knocked it. Uh, I'm so sorry. Man, I can't. Number one, me. don't call me, buddy. Number two, we're all tired. We're all in the same boat. My job is to make sure the boat doesn't friggin' sink. Yeah, I'm gone. And, and, and I'm on it. And, and you're a god because this is Number never three, don't call me a god. Don't stroke my ego. Two, set. I'm gone. Well, I'm all over it, buddy. I'm going to make you look so super good. I'm on it. Oh, yeah, so and, uh, uh, have you heard the latest one about the guy in the bar? No. Anyways, he was sitting at the bar. This cute got some guy. ugly sleepy dick in your eye. That's all right, man. I mean, sorry. What's the joke? <laughs> Uh, no, it's a guy who uh, was in, uh, sitting at the bar, and this girl walked in. He looked over and he said, Hey, you are lying on my little toe. She goes, Why? Because I'm cute and small? No, it's something I'm going to bang on the coffee table when I get home later when I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> That'd wake me up. So, Billy, looks like somebody's feeling pretty good today. Yeah, man. It's an Irie demon of Irie man. Oh my gosh, look at all the goodies. Ladies, are you cast? Yeah, we are. We're back on cast. Ah, uh, sweeties, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave now. We got the background table outside by the men toilet. This is strictly cast and crew. We are cast, background is cast. Let's just go. Yeah, they'll be setting you up with peanut butter, Wonder Bread, and apples real soon. Das is not very nice. Not friendly. Billy, do you do like a um, Jamaican accent of patois, like the real thing? Me can talk, chat, patois. Das is patois. No, no, no. Like um, the island, that little island, Jamaica, they have reggae. You know, no problem. Fuck you, Daryl. Billy, it's gonna cost you. Morning. Morning, Michael. Ah, Mr. Michael. What's you up to this fine day? Oh, I'm almost late for my pickup. I almost forgot it. Kind of wasted. What can I do you for? Um, I, uh, just a banana. Let's get a banana. Good for potassium and other pleasures. Mm. What are you guys doing? Not how you peel a banana. Pardon? Not how you peel a banana, son. Oh, jeez, here we go. How would you like me to peel the banana, Daryl? Just like our little pals the monkeys do. See, you got a handle here with the stem. Boop. Yeah, that's amazing. Hey? Handle, stem. Does that not make perfect sense? Yeah, whatever, Daryl. Does that not make sense? No, it doesn't! You're a fucking idiot! Get off my truck! Darlene, Darlene, oh, Darlene. You were so full of shit, Daryl! Whoa, good morning to you too, Fuck Darlene. off! Oh, I hate it when they argue. Well, the summer sun was shining On the blue of Children, voices sing. Me and my friends were laughing. You can 
fuck. Mm. 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 Those guys are assholes. What do they even do? Mm. Oh, those are drivers. Transport. The lowest of the low. Mm. Except that guy. Giganosaurus Rex. Could he be any taller? <laughs> He's like inappropriately tall. <laughs> Is this actually happening? Is he part of transport? Welcome to Dennis Plotkin. How can I help you? Hi, uh, could I please have uh, six double doubles, one decaf with milk, and... Good morning. How are you doing? Don't remind me you're an alien sleepwalking. Yeah. They're crazy, all of them, working on these productions, living up to 18 hours a day together for months on end. God knows I've tried to change them over the years. Impossible. It's a lot like the circus, I suppose. But really just carnies. Yeah, carnies with a dental plan. Hey, morning, Marcus. What can I get you today? Ah, oh, big espresso. Yeah. A bit of a rough night. Sure, let me get that for you. Oh, yeah? What were you up to? Um, Just partying? Listen, Marcus, I gotta tell you. You as Otis Fluker and SCTV, that stuff was stupidly amazing. Funny! Oh, my God. Do not bring that up. That is not cool. See? You get me the coffee, and be professional. I mean it, man. You're in my face all the time. I swear to God, you get any closer, I'm gonna take a bite out of your cheek and I'm gonna spit it on top of your stupid hat. You need another hat. I'm just kidding you, man. Relax, tranquilo. Holy shit! You're good, man. You totally had me. Holy shit! How do you, how do, you do that? How do you get to that place? You know, I've done some acting, a little bit of acting here and there, but how do you get to that place from comedy to drama? Just like I did there? Yeah. Be yourself. What if you, what if you don't like yourself? <laughs> I hate myself. And that's why I enjoy acting and pretending to be other people. That's what acting's all about. <laughs> Then, I was in the army for a bit, and that's where I learned the martial arts of using the show. Wow, you're quite the gal. I thought I was tough when I was your age. I could kick ass with most of the guys in my hood, but I was still a lady. As are you. I better check us in. Hey, Jerome, I'm here with Faith. Thank you. Great day, Mary. You too, sweetie. Cool. You're welcome, Faith. No problems. <laughs> hey, Jerome. Gracie's in her room. Hi, I'm Minnie. Hi. Uh, this is Emily. She's working today. Oh, Are yeah. you a production assistant? No, I'm transport. Where no. is the AD trailer? Emily is playing Sharon. Yeah, uh, I'll find out. Hey, Andrew, we got uh, Emily here playing Sharon with her mother. Where do you want him? 
Oh, can you take it to the wardrobe truck, please? I'm so busy right now. Copy that. Yeah, copy that. Okay, we'll take you to wardrobe. Okay. Thanks, my girl. Boo's in there. He needs for 15 minutes. Copy that. You know Mickey. Uh, it's Michael, not Mickey. I can't see. Michael, Mickey, what's the difference? My friend's school time is Michael, and, and I call him Mickey. Well, maybe you call him Mickey because he's uh, nine years old or grade two or whatever. How do you know he's famous? Do you know him? So she asked me uh, if I would be comfortable without any teeth for the next four to six months uh, because uh, due to the radiation that I had seven years ago, um, they have to wait to give me dentures. And I said, well, I'm only dealing with friends all the time and they'll accept me and they do accept me any way that I am, with teeth, without teeth, with bad teeth. And then she leaned into me and she said, well, that's a good thing because you're not much to look at now anyway. <laughs> hey, Joel. Hey, how are you, Mike? Here with uh, Emily. Okay, gotta go. Talk to you later. Love She's you. She's playing Bye. Sharon. Hi, Emily. Nice to meet you. What a great script, a great part, and fabulous movie. This is uh, Minnie, her mother, Jewel. Oh, hi, Minnie. Nice to meet you. Hi. Mickey, Mr. Michael, do you mind not telling crew members that my mother is my mother? I like people referring to her as my manager. Wardrobe designer to you, dear. Is that what they call you? Yeah. Actually, she has a good point because I'm actually not her mother. I'm her foster mother. But it's probably better that people don't think of me as one of those monster mothers or foster mothers that's trying to use their so-called daughter, you know, to try the respect and adulation that she should have got in her early career as an actress. I just... I would hate that. Yeah, that makes sense. Have I got a honey wagon room or a star wagon room? I have no idea. Could you maybe find out? Could you maybe... Shut the... Excuse me? Uh, could she maybe just tell me what she wants? Good question. How come only the American talent get star wagon rooms while the Canadian actor are lucky enough to get the back seat of a minibus? That's not Michael's problem, dear. You have to take that up with the producers. Michael is doing as good as he can, all right? Well, Mickey isn't succeeding. <laughs> I don't believe this. You know what? You, my friend, have an attitude problem. Oh, yeah? I have the attitude? Yeah. Yes, you I do. Have, I yeah. have the attitude? Mm-hmm. I have the attitude, yes, eh? Yes, you do. Well, at least you admit it. My mother and I have seen a lot of this. Oh yeah, is that your mother you're referring to now, or your manager, or your foster mom? Which was it, a momager? This is outrageous. I will be contacting Emily's agent. Unbelievable. Fucking unbelievable. Gotta love our freeze in spring, huh? God love spring, yeah. Wow, that Gracie's a hot little number. Yeah, she's really sweet. You been driving her a lot lately? Yeah, I... Yeah, I've been driving her, yeah. Back and forth in the hotel, you know, but... And uh, we talk a fair bit. We've gotten to know each other. It's, what do you talk uh, about? Mostly uh, her work and what she's done, and... Yeah, it's been good. You get the hots for her, haven't you? Uh, sort of. Not really, <laughs> no. <laughs> so I heard this director's... Transport! What do I do? Let me see this. Okay, I can send her in now. All right. She thinks you're an asshole. What the hell? Don't say that. I... Did, you, did you key that? I, I don't know. Hi. Hi. You know what I like about this business? What, the girls? Not well, sort of when I'm arrested. <laughs> nah, it's the uh, 20 hour days for $200 a week. <laughs> <laughs> I make more than that and I'm background. <laughs> ah, shut up. You're just an extra. You don't get to speak. Yeah. Not true. I've been upgraded with a line before. Shut up, you horse's cock. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck 
Fuck you. Fuck your mom, too. <laughs> you bag of shit. <laughs> So, here we are. Yeah, last day. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Can't believe it. Yeah, it's, it's been, been nice getting to know you. You know nothing about me. Oh, whatever. It's I, it's all right. <laughs> I don't. Uh, I didn't really drive you that much because yeah, I just picked I mean, you up at the hotel and dropped you off. Mm -hmm, and it was here and there. You had other what, people. <laughs> you were with of, other people in the van yeah, and hard talked to, to them. It's hard to. Yeah, talk when you're going from. Yeah, maybe to... maybe we'll get to know you next time. Yeah, yeah, maybe next right. time. I'm sure I'll see you again. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. Great. Nice to see you. Yes. Gracie. Nice to see you. Nice okay. to. Okay. Take care. All the see best. You. Okay. Be good. Thanks. You too. If you weren't good, we could have a great time. I was. I love you. I we could have had amazing. Amazing sex, but you're so young. I'm like, I'm not that old. Okay, that's all. Right. I'm out of here. How come I keep waking people up? Wow! Yeah, maybe because you're Captain Tamil? Do you ever think of, <laughs> ever think of writing comedy? That's pathetic. Yeah, it is. I don't, I don't think about it. I you just, used to write scripts, didn't do you? It. Yeah, a little bit. Do you ever want to make a movie? Yeah, I did. I actually did. I had a big script, big script optioned, and uh, then I got really stuck on it. It was. Um, was continuity. I just couldn't figure. I couldn't wrap my head around that. Like, what is continuity? What do you think it is? It's something to do with being continuous, keeping things continuous. Like they're always moving. It's like, like you can cut, but it has to be continuous, right? Continuity. Yeah, you know what? You're an idiot. <laughs> In the long run, nobody gives a damn. You're an idiot. Nobody gives a damn about continuity. Nobody ever notices it. Hmm. <sighs> This is great, you getting me to the airport today. I get to see you, and I get to give you this little gift I got you. Oh, yeah, you're gonna like this. Oh, wow, that's so kind. It's still warm. No, you've done so warm. much. Oh, it's down here and the heater's on the floor. No, don't worry about that. Oh my God, no, no, no. It, it's a, a good bottle of Bushmills. It's just I put it in that so you wouldn't get, you know, you shouldn't be driving around with an open bottle of liquor. Thank you. No, don't mention it. You're doing great, man. I don't know what to say. I don't know. Fuck you. Take me in your arms and hold me this like you've never done sucks. before. Take me in your arms and hey, lost me. That's a nice song. Mary, where, where, where'd you hear that? Oh, that's just something I thought about in the last couple of days. Really? Mm. Where's Vince? Ah, uh, let there, uh, Marcus to the airport. Christ, they should be back by now, shouldn't they? Yeah, it should. It's like 10.50. What an asshole! Maybe Marcus took him home with him. He's been through a lot of craziness. Poor <laughs> thing. <laughs> totally. <laughs> So you think he tipped him? No, but I bet he invited him to Los Angeles. Yeah, sure, yeah, I'll say that. Yeah, exactly. Come stay with me, we're going to Vegas, we'll have a blast. Yeah, sure. 
Oh, yeah, it's an empty promise. It's like asking, hey, how are you today? Nobody gives a shit how you're feeling. Half the time, their head's buried in their phone, not even looking at you in the eye. Yeah. It's like you don't even have a face. And any actor, I don't care who it is, you know that they don't care if they ever, ever see you again. But sometimes you do meet him again. You know Paula Rose? Never heard of her, no. Oh yeah, I've seen her in a lot of movies. She's amazing, I love her. Yeah, he's on a movie, driving around a movie um, called The Last Confession. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a little while back. Same old thing, come to Scotland, I'll look after you, my, my, my nice. boyfriend I'll look after you. Nice. Full of shit. <laughs> Never happened. Yeah, exactly. Obviously, buddy, obviously. <laughs> Don't pack your bags. But wait, you know what? Two weeks ago, I got a... Uh, an email from her saying she's going to take me to the Venice Film Festival. Wow. What, to see the premiere of The Last Confession? Yeah, right. That's it. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Jerome, yeah. Here's your ticket for the Venice Film Festival. Oh! <laughs> yeah, it's awful what guilt does to people, you know? Anyway, not going to happen. I recognize her. She's sweet. Oh, I've seen her. She's a darling. Yeah, they must think we're simple. She said I reminded her of her dad. He must be simple. <laughs> yeah, well, he died three years ago. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, no chance for pussy there. What a dick. Do you always think of sex? No. Well, yeah. Take me in your arms and hold me And then sometimes Like you've never done before Life surprises you Take me in your arms and kiss me Straight across this road
never gone away.